Hey guys, this is Laura with McLeod Homestead and I'm coming at you over here in the garden and today's project involves a stake, as you can see. What's going on is over here in my raised beds, my tomato plants are falling over, obviously. They're huge. They're falling into my pepper plants. I need to get them staked up. I want to put two screws into it, which means it's got to come down to about here. Let me hold that. There we go. Alright guys, if I'm running out of daylight, I don't know how well this will work, but I took a dog chain and went around, and then I took some uh, baling twine that I had and tied them to some of the tomato plants. I've got them up off of a lot of the marigolds. I've also got them off of these pepper plants now. I'm going to have to really do some trimming. I got more. I've got to get more twine. I really need to tie it up. And then for now, I got my wind chimes. This is a butterfly house Alex had to have because we have so many butterflies over here. And then we've got another wind chime. I love my wind chimes, but I'm not going to have all four of them over on this one. And I've got my other wind chime. I've got to get two more stakes, and I've got to get this side done too. The wind knocked over a lot of my tomato plants, so they're laying down. So I've got to, got to get that done. But... All that matters is all the plants can grow good. doesn't matter what it looks like. Maybe now this little pepper plant and that one won't be so stunted. But we are getting lots of peppers. 
And this is paprika. It's a, these are banana peppers. And we got them growing. So I want to make sure that they keep growing. It is another day. I went and I got uh, some more steaks and I'm going to try and see if I can get into a little bit more detail where I missed out on them over there, but I've got to get working on this one. So as I tried showing you before, the wind blew these many over. They are growing odd shaped, so I am going to try and get them staked up so they start standing a little bit straighter again, and we get some good tomatoes. First thing I'm going to do again is I am going to start with putting the steaks on the raised bed which we saw me do that i'm going to do these exactly the same way and i want to be able to show you a little bit more about running the uh, dog chain so show you a little bit how i did that a little bit more. so all right we got our poles up they're all screwed on now you can't see i had my son open these up just a hair and we are going to screw this up through the hole up here it's gonna be kind of loose but it should still be all right for what i'm doing see it'll sink down a little bit which is fine And I want that open up at the top because once I put the dog chain through, I'm going to try and clamp that shut. And we're going to do that to these other poles. Now the one already has one of them other hookies, like what I used on the other side. So we're not going to worry about that. Now on this one here that I'm working with, I left this closed because this is what I'm going to attach both ends, hopefully, of the dog chain to. So I didn't need it open because we're going to use the clamp. So I'm just going to screw it on in. See, it's going to be loose, but that is all right. So, let's hook up the dog chain now. So, all right, let's see how we do. Put this one right on. I will stick that one there. I will come back through too on this and put a twist tie or a zip tie to help hold it where I want it. In there, push it back 
And we make it back. Perfect. And it's as easy as that as hanging the dog chain. So, oh, that one came out over there. Let me get this twist tied on where I wanted it because that was the problem. Everything doesn't go perfectly all the time, does it? So, we've got to fix it. And until I get the thing clamped down, I'm just going to put a twist tie on this one too to hold it in place. And I'll do it with this one as well. So there we go. The dog chain is up. The next step First, we got to close those eye hooks and then just start uh, tying the plants up. All right, guys, so I'm trying something a little different when I hang these up. Um, I have all these hooks that I bought that I really like to tie up my tomato plants on the trellises and stuff. So I'm trying them on this to see if it, how it works. And all I'm doing is I'm clipping one up here. They're new, these ones are. But see, they just clip together. And then they lock, and then when you want to undo it. So, oh, let's see. The next tomato plant would be this one. Oh, I want to be real gentle. So we'll put this around it and clip it. And then twine like uh, stuff left over that I've used before. And I am just kind of coming down, putting it through that loop. You can't really see. Putting it through that loop down here. Okay, and then pulling it up, coming through this loop, kind of bringing it to where I want it. A bit more. Bring this through this way. Oh, this is cheap. Okay, so I brought it through the loop, and now I'm just tying it in a knot. To help hold it up. Alright, so, one, two, three, five plants done and probably about 20 more to go so this is where i'm gonna call it an end and i thank you all very much for watching please like subscribe and share and i will see you on the next video be safe and toodles